वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल माई नेम इज़ मोहम्मद उबैद एंड दिस इज़ अनदर वीडियो ऑन अर्थ क्वेक इंजीनियरिंग एंड सॉफ्टवेयर प्रैक्टिस एंड टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू असाइन ए मेम्बर एज ए टेंशन ऑनली और एज ए कंप्रेशन ऑनली मेम्बर सो दिस इज़ ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक बिकॉज समाइम वैन वी आर मॉडलिंग ए ब्रिक मैसनरी इन फिल बाई स्टेट एनोलॉजी एंड देयर वी हैव टू Uh, assign the strut as a compression only member so in that case it will be very helpful to know how we assign those uh, compression strut only members or if we are modeling a truss in that truss if we want only member to take only tension then it is also very helpful so let's get started the video before starting the video if you have not subscribed to channel please subscribe the channel and share this video and uh, comment down if you have any query related to any point we discuss here in this video and i will try to answer all your comments as soon as possible so let's get started the video to illustrate how we assign a member as a only a compression member or only as a tension member we will take this portal frame for our analysis purpose okay now first of all we will define a load pattern which is a lateral load pattern okay so that we can visualize the changes in forces in members very clearly lateral load okay and add new load after click okay and after defining this load pattern <coughs> we will see what is the type of this load pattern so load case and here we can see that this is a linear static type of load now after knowing this that this is a linear static case we will further proceed to assign the lateral load at this joint okay uh, at this joint and at this joint so we have chosen two joints and we will assign joint load force and as lateral load of 20 kN in x direction and apply okay so here we can see that 20 kN load has been assigned at each of the joints now the main thing is how we assign these bracings as tension member or as only compression member so first of all we have to select these bracings go to object type and select braces select and close so all the braces have been selected you can choose any of this these braces if you want if you want a particular brace to be assigned as a compression member only or as a tension member only here we have selected all these bracing so after the selection of bracing we will proceed to assign frames and uh, this option tension compression limits now here we have we can see that there are two options tension limit and compression limit so if i click at tension limit so here we can assign different values now if i have a ten, i have a member and i want that this member should only take 20 kN of tension then i will just uh put here 20 kN and click apply okay so what does it mean it means that the member will only take tension up to 20 kN after 20 kN it will not take any tension okay but the compression limit is not checked here so there is no limit on the compression force in that member okay so in this way we can assign different type different limits to our members for compression and for tension we can assign both uh, limit on both these things both on compression and both on uh, and tension as well as okay now in this uh, tutorial we we are very in interested to only assigning these members as tension members only so we will assign the compression limit as zero it means that these members will not take any significant amount of compression or compressive force 
okay so here you can see that the compression limit is zero and we will apply and after applying we will just click ok and uh, after assigning these compression and tension limits we will just go for the analysis of this model ok so just go for analysis from add from this icon run the run the analysis and we will wait until the analysis finishes so as we can see that the analysis has been completed we will proceed for the results and we will just click this icon so uh, so that we can see different forces in the members and we will choose this window and uh, we will just click this icon and here we will choose lateral load and axial force and uh, we will just apply so it will take some time uh, not very long time okay and click okay so here we can see that the uh, red one this red color shows that this member has a compressive force okay and here we can also see that these arrow shows that the member is in compression and the negative value shows that the member has a uh, compressive force okay we will just click done and this yellow color shows that this member has tensile force okay because positive volu value according to the ETF sign convention the positive value shows that this is a tensile force so we will just click done but we have assigned all these braces as only tension member but so why uh, these members are carrying compression force so we will just uh, see what is the problem here okay so we will just unlock the model and for rectifying this mistake we will just change one thing in this whole analysis procedure and that is uh, we have to change the load case uh, sorry yes load case from linear static to non-linear because in ETAPS and SAP this tension and compression limit only works for the non-linear case okay it will not work for any linear case so we have to just modify this linear static case or it may be a dynamic case to non-linear static case okay so we will just add one more load case uh, load pattern dead load with a factor of one okay so we will just click okay or we can go with the lateral load okay so we can also delete this if you want to add you can add and we will just click ok and after this again ok and we will again analyze this model okay so <coughs> just run the analysis and we will wait for the result so we have received the completion message and the analysis has been completed we will go for our forces so choose lateral load axial force and apply so that we can see what is the change now after changing the linear static to non-linear load case we will click ok so here uh, we can see that the values uh, the values of compressive force in these members in is almost zero okay 0, 0.00 kilo newton okay so and the tension value is same okay it may change something but these member will carry tension only okay so this is why the compressive force has become almost zero so this is how we assign a member as a tension only or as a compression only so this is it for this video thanks for watching and we will meet in our next video